Good morning my friends, Fabri here, and today I'm with this crazy thin MacBook that was recently updated by Apple. It packs all you need from a 12 inches Mac in a small, neat aluminum package with the size of a tablet, which is 0.35mm thick in its highest point. But I'm not here to tell you why you should choose this beautiful product over other laptops, and I won't talk about the butterfly keyboard, the terrace battery, or the first touch trackpad. I will only focus on this question. Is the first generation still worth it? But let's make a step back, shall we? When it came out last year, it immediately started a civil war. You can either love or hate it, but you can't do both. The main concern everybody had was about the only one USB-C port. There was a big innovation at the time, but it meant the impossibility to plug anything else during the charge. Unless of course using adapters we start to spread out and become affordable only now, after one year. So everybody expected a second generation with at least two USB-C ports. It was the dumbest and simplest thing to do. If they did so, we wouldn't be here, a better product without any doubt. But do you actually think they added a second port? The mid-2016 version of second generation features slightly improved processor up to Intel Core M7, but the main difference is in the Turbo Boost, which now goes up to 3.1 GHz. It has a slightly bigger battery, and the combination with a more energy efficient processor should improve your battery life. Should, not so convinced about that. And the biggest news is the pink color, just kidding. So, we can conclude that the speed up doesn't make the new generation so much better. If you watched this video until now, you are probably wondering which one should I buy. Well, what I think is that the improvements are not enough to call it an upgrade, but rather an update. That's why the first generation should be your choice. It's just a matter of money, because it always goes down. But let me give you some data. Let's say your budget is $12.99. With that, you can buy the base model with Core M5, 1.1 GHz and Turbo Boost up to 2.2 and a small 256 GB hard drive. But you can also buy a much better first generation, 1.2 GHz with Turbo Boost up to 2.7 and twice the storage. That was my choice, but what is yours? I hope I helped you to decide. If you did, please just take 3 seconds and go force touch on the subscribe button to support this channel and for more Apple videos. And I'll see you in the next one. Ciao! Lions roaring in the morning sun Searching for a longer day People feeling like the light has just come